Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany. Um, I know I don't think I've introduced myself in a video in a while. Uh, and today is a little bit different uh, video than normal. Uh, I have been getting a lot of questions about if I'm going to get Greek um, citizenship. Uh, so I wanted to come on here and sort of walk you through my thinking as of right now and hopefully answer some questions for you if you're not an EU resident or the child of a Greek citizen because if you are one of those people none of this will apply to you. <laughs> uh, so okay if for some reason you don't know my story and you're just now like watching my videos I am going to put two videos in the description box below about getting a visa and then getting a residence permit to come and stay here in Greece for longer than the three months in Schengen area and that'll help you if you're just starting this process and you're not again an EU citizen or a child of a Greek uh, person or grandchild. I'm not really sure of the rules for Greek descendants, so don't ask me about that. <laughs> okay, so I am here on a financially independent visa, no, sorry, residence permit now, yay. And I've had a few people message me about whether or not I'm going to now try to get Greek citizenship. Well, as of right now, the answer is no. Um, right now, to get Greek citizenship as a non-EU resident or non-descendant of a Greek person, you have to be in the country for seven years. Um, and according to the website that I found, that I have up on my laptop, uh, I it says a year, seven years of permanent and legal residence in Greece. So I don't know if my year of living here on my visa counts or not. Um, and since right now I'm not super concerned, I haven't like emailed my lawyer to ask, um, I'm assuming that that year does not count <laughs> because I'm not, I wasn't a permanent resident like I am now. And really honestly with the visa you could like come and never apply for the residence permit. So if I was going to do it, I would definitely ask because that would be one less year. So. And it's not just, oh, you have to be here for seven years. You have to file all this paperwork. And on the website, it says that it could take a year for them to reach their decision. And in practice, it could take two to four years. That's kind of like, ooh, that seems like a lot. And according to this, it's 700 euros for the first time application. I don't know why you would need to apply more than once, but anyway. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Um, obviously not a long, a lot of money because you will have this forever, but I kind of want to give you a breakdown of what that would entail for me. So not only do you have to be here for seven years, you have to be able to speak Greek fluently and take a test and you have to take a Greek history lesson. Obviously, if I've been here for seven years, my Greek is going to be better than it is now. Um, and I will hopefully start up Greek lessons again. Um, that is not my intention with the Greek lessons. My intention with the Greek lessons is just to be able to communicate more. So the other thing it would mean for me is that by the time I'm eligible to apply for Greek citizenship, I will be 50 years old. And that's from if the first year doesn't count. If for some reason the first year does count, I will be 49. And then it takes another like a couple, let's say four years. So then I'm 54. <laughs> I don't, obviously you, if you're planning on living here long-term, yes, it may be worth it to you. For me, I'm kind of like, eh, I don't really know if I want to go through this whole process of becoming a citizen. Uh, you also then have to start paying Greek taxes. Oh, I wanted to jump on here real quick and say something about taxes. Everybody's situation is different, so you need to do your own research about whether or not you should be paying taxes in Greece. And they keep changing the rules every year, so keep checking this if you're watching this at a much later date. Which are astronomically high compared to the U.S., so that's another thing. 
The other thing for me is that after I get my next residence permit, which should be good for anywhere from two to three years, I believe, and I've been told three years, after that, I can then apply for a 10-year residence permit. So in three years, I'll be 46, and then after that, it'll be 56. So it's a, it's actually long better for me to just apply for the 10-year residence permit, in my opinion. Um, becoming a dual citizen is totally fine in the U.S. Um, you can do both. If I was to pay taxes here in Greece, I could get a credit for what I've paid here on my U.S. taxes. So it's not really a huge issue. It's just I'm going to pay a lot more in taxes in Greece than I am in the U.S. And I can still get my Social Security and all my retirement here. So if that's a question for you that you're wondering about, that's not an issue. That's how a lot of people come here on this financially independent visa. Um, you know, they're retired and they've decided they want to live in Greece for the rest of their life. Um, and they're not working anymore, so they don't need to worry about coming here and finding a job because they're going to live on their Social Security or their retirement income, whatever they've planned for themselves. That is not so much the case for me, obviously. Um, all the same rules still apply, though. Now, if you are a non-EU citizen and you are not a descendant of a Greek person, but you are married to a Greek person, and you have a child with that person, you can then get the citizenship after three years. So obviously there is benefit to having a child here in Greece, which I kind of understand the population isn't growing rapidly. So um, it's kind of a benefit if you've come here and you've met someone and you're going to have a baby. I'm not going to be doing that. <laughs> um, even if I was to meet someone, I would not be having a baby, um, obviously. <laughs> um, if you have come here and let's say your child wasn't born here in Greece, but they are the, the other parent is Greek, I believe the same rules apply. You can then apply after three years. That being said, all of this takes a lot of time. As you have seen from my process, no matter how you decide to do this, it's going to take longer than you expect. I have heard from people who are um, the children of Greek descendants who now live in the US and they're applying and they're trying to get their Greek passport and it is taking them years to get it done. And that's in the US where processes move a little bit faster, usually. Um, so just keep that in mind. And to be honest with you, I think renewing my residence permit every couple of years and then hopefully in the 10 year period is gonna be a lot easier process than it is going to be for me to get Greek citizenship. And because I'm an American, my passport has a little bit more strength than the Greek passport. Although the Greek passport is inching up there. <laughs> it's in the top 10 list. So that's, that's really nice. So I understand if you're not American, why you would possibly want to, to do this. It's definitely something that if your passport requires you to get a lot of visas and um, costs a lot of money to apply for those visas every time you want to travel. This is definitely a great route for you if you really like living here. Um, I don't know what it's like in other uh, European countries. It's supposed to be standard across the EU, but I know that that's not necessarily the case. Um, so it may be one of the easier processes. Um, you know, each country has different rules and regulations about having to be here for a certain period of time. And I don't think seven years is really that long. I hope that was really helpful. I know this is a little bit different than what I normally do, but I want this to be a resource for people who are coming here and um, you know are thinking that long-term they want to live here for the rest of their lives. That being said, I might change my mind, <laughs> you know? Um, in four or five years, if I find that the process is really difficult to renew my residence permit, I may change my mind. I don't have to make that decision now or this to the Greek government when you move to Greece. So anytime, and even if you've been here longer than seven years and you want to apply, you can do that. There's no deadline that says after you've been here for seven years, you must apply. Uh, so that's good. With the visa that I came on, I had to apply for that residence permit in that year. So that was a deadline. Anyway, 
Guys, if you liked this, uh, leave me a comment below or hit the like button so that way I know whether or not you want me to keep doing these moving to Greece as an expat series as I come across more topics. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.